Let's say you've got a QNAP TS1886 XURP and you want to add some M2 SSDs to it. So you can do that with something like this, which is the QM24P384, uh, which will let you add four 2280 M2 sized SSDs into a PCI X4 expansion slot in your NAS. Uh, so I'll go through how to actually install the NVMe SSDs in this unit in another video. So make sure you check that one out. Uh, but in this one, I'll go through how to actually install this into the NAS. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Now, let's open this NAS up on the back of it. You may have noticed we've got these two thumb screws here. So we want to undo those for starters, and that'll basically let us get into here. Now they won't come all the way out because they're actually spring loaded to hold them in. So once these thumb screws are done, this should slide back like so, and at which point it will just swap straight off like that really nicely. All right, so I've got my QM24P384 here all ready to go as well, uh, and that's what it's looking like. And it's all set up. It's got four uh, NVMe drives already installed into it, uh, ready to go. And it's basically, we're gonna wanna slot it into this space here, our other PCIe 4 slot, and it should slot in really nicely like that. So to do that, we first need to go ahead and actually clear out this cover, because it's gonna be in the way. So we want a screwdriver, Phillips head, and we're going to undo this screw. Make sure you don't lose it, because you are going to need it again. Uh, when we screw in our expansion drive. So that's come out and we can now just pop that up and that'll come out like so, nice and easy. And then we'll get our expansion card and we want to basically slot it in here. Just being careful of all the components. We don't want to damage anything. This is all quite expensive equipment. And line it up with the PCI Express 4 slot. Once you're 100% sure you're all lined up and good, apply just a little bit of pressure until it's slotted all the way in and sits flush with our screw mounting point here on the back panel. Now go ahead and take your screw and we want to actually screw this back in now, exactly the same spot as it was to lock our, um, our expansion card in place. There we go, it's in. We can now go ahead and put our top cover back on. There's nothing else we need to do. The fan and everything else will get power directly from uh, that. If you wanna make sure that it's all working first, you can connect the NAS up without putting the cover back on and check it's all good. Once you're confident though, go ahead and take your top cover and we're basically sitting it on to line up with these little grooves here. Uh, we've got these couple of pieces which will line up and that, it something like that and then just slot it forwards until it's all the way in and do up these thumb screws. Make sure they're nice and firm. You don't need to tighten them any more than finger tight uh, so that it's easy to get in if you need to again in the future. And that's it, we've now installed one of the QNAP QM24P384 SSD PCI Express expansion cards into our QNAP TS1886XURP NAS. Go ahead and boot it up and it should pick these up straight away for you.